this is uh, Sean from Wayback Arcades, and we're here on our nightly chill stream at 8 o'clock Eastern, and we're going to do a little Double Dragon 2 on the three-sided tilt-top cocktail table. Um, this uh, title came out in 1988, as you can see from the title uh, there, and it was just as much of a success as the original. Um, so as you can see, uh, we've got our overhead uh, joystick cam, um, so you can you can follow the game, play, see how you know the game reacts with the, the play on the screen. Um, if you're on a, with us with Facebook and you haven't liked our page, please do so. If you are um, following us on YouTube, please like this video and hit subscribe. It really helps us a lot. Uh, we'll keep bringing you know live streams direct from these arcade cabinets too. Um, and if you're interested in one of these games, feel free to ask us questions, you know, comments. And um, you know, there's links in the uh, post for Facebook and in the description area for YouTube. So let's get after this game. And we're gonna, pay, we're gonna play for a bit. Um, I'm gonna actually add some credits. And of course, this game is, was done by Technos, uh, which is the same company that did WrestleFest. And of course, any good you know guy you know in a in a game needs to have a a tack chopper, probably a legal tack chopper in their garage. And of course, when you get in a fight with anybody, what they're always going to do is they're always going to do some, like a bunch of somersaults, like they're practicing for the uh, Tokyo Olympics or something. There we go. All right, I didn't take too much damage. I usually do. Oh, yeah, this is my lady. See you later. She always. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the move in this game. So what you do is you kind of, it's like, I'm not going to pay attention. Bam! You know, you just, like, you don't pay attention to the guy, and then you, like, just just roundhouse kick him. And that's the one thing that's a little different. Uh, I guess I can't get at that. Um, with this game, you know, is you could do a lot more with jump kicks. There's a power move where you kind of almost does, like, the uh, flying roundhouse kick that you would see Ken or Ryu do, and... Uh, you know, Street Fighter 2, um, you know, it's just, it, and it just, it's a beast of a move. So this is a, one of the uh, holdover actors from Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, Let's see if I can take, take this, oh no, I want that box. Ah, uh, there we go, that was it. So the way you do that move, um, it's been a really long time since I've played this. The first time I played this was in a round table pizza after like baseball games. Um, and <laughs> you gotta be careful, the box bounces, it'll obviously hit you. But what you do, you wait till you get to the peak of your jump and you then just, you know, hit the, hit the attack button. So the attack button on the left punches that way, on the right kicks and middle button jumps. Pretty, pretty straightforward, just like the original. But here's the move. See, so got to do it a little early, but it's like boom, boom, done, boom. Except when he does that, kind of cheated. You're supposed to walk into that kick. I'm gonna go up here. What's up, boys? <laughs> Just walk right into that one. Yeah, this is. They. I feel like the aggressiveness level with these guys on this game is a little higher than it was, um, you know, on the original. Uh, I don't know, it could be just me, but, you know, it seems like they're a little tougher, a little faster, but still doable, still doable. My pink helicopters, I don't know where I parked that. Oh, I'm not falling for that. You're gonna have to do a little, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that lady. She, <laughs> It's the weight. Now, one thing I will tell you about this game, it's definitely a lot easier when you got two players. Way easier. So, if you're playing on a, a machine like this, it's definitely tr try to bribe someone to play with you. It shouldn't be too hard. It's a fun game. But um, definitely try to bribe someone to play with you because it just makes your life a lot easier. Three hits and he's down. Whoa. She's coming at me with a knife. It's always tough. Oh, God, she killed me. So we're going to get a little payback. No, I guess not. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oof. What are we going to come at him with? Nice. Whoa. Here's this 
weird dude with the mask, the, the, the hockey mask. That's not going to be good. That's going to hurt. That's the one thing you got to always be cognizant of with this game is just, you know, make sure you keep an eye on the time. Usually it's not an issue, um, but every once in a while you just, you know, you doubt, dilly dally by. You know. So you should have picked that lip up. That's just going to give this guy license to just crush me. But he's done. All right. I got bonus point of 3,000. Not points, point. So we're going to go in this elevator, going, going down downtown. Oof. It's always good to try to try to hit these guys, kind of come out at an angle. They're just quick. I mean, they're really, really quick in this game. Oh, I get cracked in the skull with a grenade. Yeah, let's just let that thing. Now, one thing I, I try to do, and I've met, if you follow any of these streams we do, with these kind of beat em up games, you really, really do want to try to keep these guys. You see how like they're on, you know, like you want to keep them on one side because when they're on like this, you know, uh, they're got you surrounded, it's really tough. It, it makes, you know, that's where that move really helps because you can clear out some people, you know, like I knocked her down the, the Sarlacc pit. Um, but it, it, when they start getting like surrounding you, it's just, it becomes really difficult to, to handle these guys. You know, especially if you get, you know, around like a pit or something like that where you can, you know, instant death. Um, I try to stay away from that as much as I can. But, like, if you can get these guys in a corner like this, it's, it makes your life a lot easier. You know, because then you can just, just wail away on them. There's not much they can, you know, it, maybe they get, they get out like that, but you can get a lot of shots on them and you can just dump them over. Because you know, if you miss that, you misjudge it, you're, you're kind of done. Oof, man, I'm taking just an absolute beating right now. That's why you want to try to get these these two up there. We go. It's, no, I had it for a minute, but you want to, you definitely want to try to get them. Oh, jeez. All right, so you're gonna have to start pushing it a little bit. There's the conveyor belt. is tough enough but when you got you know you got a couple of these guys you know kind of just you know getting some shots in yeah it's it's tough just trying to maneuver yeah 
I haven't even gotten a hit on this guy. Because, you know, as soon as I, uh, yeah, as soon as I do, it's like I'm just getting, just waylaid. And I'm, I'm getting hit, actually, before I can, uh, there we go, let's get some space. There we go. Let's get, get a hit on these guys so get a little bit of a reset. There we go. Now we can, this will be a little easier. Not easy, just a little easier. If you haven't followed one of our streams before, um, as I mentioned, um, we do these uh, every, you know, most every night, not always. Sometimes we take a break, but pretty much every night at um, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Now, we what we do, if you ever wonder, like, just, you know, why you guys picking the games you pick, you know, just what we do is we really actually take requests. Now, there's a bunch of people on our, uh, you know, email list that love Double Dragon. It was a pretty highly, you know, not the highest, but it was a highly uh, sought-after sought game to see demonstrate. What we're doing, you know, obviously you, you can tell by the gameplay is if you're looking for, like, the best gamer, you know, hey, oh my gosh, you know, I want to see someone beat Double Dragon without losing a life. Yeah, you're in the wrong place. But if you, what this really, this channel is for um, is it's for people who want to, you know, like, who are interested in getting a an arcade game for their home and they just want to see like how these games play a lot of when i was going to look for a game last year before i started promoting these i actually uh did not see any kind of real you know like demo videos like you know like on an arcade cabinet there were some like you know some companies do now i think one my wife mentioned one at, uh, at dinner but a lot of don't, you know, and it's, I don't think there's anything nefarious going on. Just, you know, it's just, it take, it actually took some work to get this uh, live stream figured out. Um, to be fair, it was my wife and um, my brother-in-law and my father-in-law who figured it out. Um, they're more in the, the tech, you know, the tech geniuses. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with crayons. But once we got it figured out, we were like, okay, great. You know, we, there's a way for us to, um, you know, actually show you how these things, you know, just how they play. And uh, my wife figured out the overhead cam, um, which is, I think, you know, really popular. We get a lot of, you know, compliments on that with our, uh, you know, people on our website. So, but this is, this is really for you to kind of help you, um, you know, kind of make a decision on what kind of, you know, arcade uh, cabinet and, you know, setup you want. And if you don't buy from us, obviously it's okay. We're glad, we're glad you're here either way, but at least you can kind of get an idea, um, you know, at least with our cabinets, how these things will play. Um, you can't really judge the operator. The operator's not the best. You know, I mean, I'm doing the best like you have to try to work through these guys. But, you know, but you can see how these things, you know, play and how they sound and, you know, and all that stuff. So what we'll do for you guys on our page is we will alternate between, um, you know, playing on the cocktail table. Because there, there's some different features that you can do on this. Like, there, you know, we can tilt, we can actually... Uh, put the screen flat. It's tilted forward right now. Um, we can actually change the orientation of the uh, the video. Like we can actually do it where um, you know we can play like a very very traditional set of uh, you know arcade games on like you'd see in a pizza shop, you know, or a barber shop that might have had a a cocktail table. I was actually really lucky. My orthodontist actually had a Pac Man cocktail table in his in his. Uh, in his office, which is, you know, it was kind of like, hey, let's just keep the kids happy before they have to go through holy hell with their teeth, you know. Um, but it was pretty cool, you know. So a lot is, you know, a lot of people don't think about a cocktail table 
with their setup. And once they actually see this one, especially when you get a you know custom wrap, make it look like whatever you want it to look like, um, it's you people go, ah, oh, I was gonna get a stand up, but I like this. They're both great. Uh, we have both. We're happy with both of them. Um, they have the same number of games. Um, this the, the difference with this one is you can only do two player games. Um, although I think most people, that's pretty much what they're going to do is two player games. Um, we've done four player games here, uh, family gatherings. Uh, we played, uh, we actually did an entire, we didn't stream it, but we did an entire uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, uh, marathon sesh. We're going to hopefully do one, a live stream, a family stream, we're going to call it, uh, for 4th of July. And we'll let you know about that if you're following us on uh, YouTube or, uh, you know, Facebook. Freaking, oh, um, I hate this stage. This one's so hard. Because <laughs> I'm just waiting for this thing. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yep, it's hard to really time that one. Um, you just have to, you just, this is where having parents with a lot of quarters on hand, or at least, you know, like, oh, I lucked out that one. So what you, obviously what you're looking for is the tracker lights to come on. Let's just get out of here. Let's just be done with this one. Yeah, here you you go you go deal with the tractor. Um, hopefully I can knock him over there. That'd be freaking awesome. This guy gets he gets to do the super dodgeball move. Like he jumps and throws the knife at you. This guy's gonna try to hit me with the. It's like right out of the movie Casino with Joe Pesci at the end. He's gonna hit me with the shovel as many times as they can and then probably bury me in some cornfield. Ain't gonna happen, boys. Other way around, I think. Although I'd like to get that shovel. Now there is a distinct chance at this very moment that my cat is gonna join me. And she's done this before. She's a kitten. She's only a few months old. Um, she loves video games, apparently. I don't know if she was a gamer in her previous life, but she likes, every time we start gaming, she, she's threatened to come on the screen. She's done it a couple times. She does not come with any of these games. She is not, you know, she's not an option you can have. You'll have to find your own kitten, but she does like to play. Oh, look, cows. Boom, what do you think about that, Bubba? <laughs> he just, he knows he killed, he knocks my guy out. <laughs> guys here is just try to get them try to get them where you, you get like I said one at a time you know but this guy will sneak around the one I'll try to do is move around here get him in the corner of course you got to get the shot in, you got to get the first shot in that's the only way that works but because what these yeah where these guys do the damage is they, they pick you up and you know by your by the scruff of your neck and start be just beating the tar out of you. Yep. 
Two of these guys is just brutal. Once you get them down to one, it's a little bit easier. like you have to kind of be real careful where you get hit because this guy just will I mean just go nuts he'll do that stuff he'll just jump kick you it's he's just brutal Oh, yeah, these nunchucks are brutal. They 
would just do so much damage. Look at that, like just one waylay there and it takes out half my guy's life. Gotta try to stay away from. It gets a little easier once you get the get it down to one dude. But one, yeah, he starts doing like chop, you know, chopsticks on my face. It's just hard.
And I got, got Morrissey here that's going to come after me. Or at least that's probably what Morrissey kind of looked like back in the time. You know, back in the day. <laughs> Not so much anymore, but... Oh, God. Boom. All right. Not another... Dude, another one of these? This guy's the worst. All right, yeah, so we'll play this, this life out. All right, well, that was quick. All right, guys, so that's our live stream for tonight. Double Dragon 2 on the three-sided tilt-top cocktail table. Um, we will see you again tomorrow night at 8 Eastern. And don't forget to like our page on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you very much.